Hey guys, this is video one of lesson 18. And as you can see, we have a problem here on the screen. And you know, lesson 18, we're moving into a new topic. And this topic, we have some new standards that we're working on. Let me see if I can pull them up right here in my book. All right. Evaluate numerical expressions that include fractions and parentheses. Translate between numerical expressions that include fractions and mathematical or contextual verbal descriptions. Compare the effect of each number in operation on the value of the numerical expression that includes fractions. So numerical expressions and solving them, understanding them. And as you can see, we have a numerical expression. Numerical means number, right? So we have a number expression here on the screen. And I want you to think about it. Yeah. Um, how would you evaluate? How would you solve this numerical expression? Okay, maybe write it down in your notes. Think about what you would do first. Let's look at a tape diagram. These tape diagrams can be helpful, right? Does that change anything for you there? What information do you see on the tape diagram? We have two parts. One is nine tenths times one half, and the other part is one fourth times two fifths. And then the sum of the parts is the value of the unknown. Now, looking again at the expression, would you evaluate the expression the same way as this? Or were you thinking you were going to do something differently? So maybe like you would think about adding these first and then multiplying. Now that you see the tape diagram that matches the expression, would you want to put parentheses somewhere in this expression? I think I would. Yeah, I think it makes sense to put parentheses right here around these two. So we know to multiply these two together and then around these two so that we know to multiply those two together and that we're going to be adding it all together at the end, right? Today we're going to write, evaluate, and compare expressions that include parentheses. So we're going to be working on parentheses today. Awesome. Okay. In your book, we're going to be on page 163. If you need to write this down, pause me. You can get it written down because I'm going to erase it. And we're going to go to our First question on page 163. All right. And the directions say, write an equation that can be used to find the unknown value for each tape diagram. So an equation is going to have an equal sign, right? And we're trying to find an unknown value for each tape diagram and then use the equation to find the value of the unknown. So basically, we're going to write an equation based on our tape diagram, and we're going to solve it for the thing that we don't know, the unknown. OK, so let's check out the tape diagram that we have here for number one. What do we know? What do we know about this tape diagram? Hmm. Well, we know the answer to 9 plus 12. Do you know what 9 plus 12 is? It is 21. And we see that there's three sections. And hmm, we see that we have three sections that we're adding together because they're next to each other. So we could think of this as like an addition sign, right? and that they are going to equal a total of 21. We have an unknown value here that's represented by x. And the unknown value is 2 of the 3 parts. See that? 2 thirds. 
Hmm. Okay, so what do we need to find out? We need to find out the value of x. We need to find two-thirds. Here's our two-thirds of a total of 21. Because the unknown value x is two of the three parts of the tape diagram, we can find x by finding two-thirds of 21 right okay so we found the let's write x equals right here's our unknown uh, in algebra we frequently represent unknowns with x or other numbers sometimes n sometimes you know could use any i'm sorry any letters could be any letter that you want um we found x by finding the value by finding two-thirds of 21. 21 is the sum of 9 and 12 right here. Ah, so not two-thirds times 21, but 9 plus 12, because that is part of it, right? I wonder why it doesn't always let me erase. It's kind of funny. So two-thirds of... 9 plus 12. Now, this is an important thing to notice because we are trying to write an equation based on the tape diagram, and the tape diagram does have the 9 plus 12. So we want to have 2 thirds of 9 plus 12 equals x. All right. we can have our x on either side. We could have it over here equals x, but we already have it there. So let's leave it there. What if I didn't have parentheses here? What if I just had two thirds of nine plus 12? Would that be the same? Would that have the same value? No, it wouldn't because we would do two thirds of nine and then we would add 12 on, right? And two thirds of nine is six and six plus 12 is 18. So we'll just keep that there. And then when we solve this one, we can compare them Okay. All right. So 9 plus 12 is 21. And 2 thirds of 21 we can multiply straight across, which would be 42 thirds. So then 42 divided by three um, well I'm gonna do it three times ten is thirty and that would leave twelve left I know that twelve divided by three is four four times three is twelve okay and then I'm gonna put these two together whoops sorry so that would be 14. So that means X is equal to 14. And you see how it's a lot different than 18. All right. Make sure you have this written down in your notes. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for your hard work. Aloha.